Hi, I'm Mike of Vuenco Studios and I'm gonna talk about the P20 V8 macro pad from Pabili Keyboards. This is the start of a video series where I talk about how I make the most out of my P20. But wait, this is the P60, so let's slice it up to three. Now I have three P20s. This macro pad has made me very efficient in my work, enough that I wanna share how I use it, so I hope the series will be useful for you too. So let's start with the pad's physical features. The P20 comes in several varieties. There's a version that's all keys, and there's one with the four knobs on top, like this one. It can come in either frost or black, and you can choose if the case is stacked acrylic like so, or 3D printed PLA. When you buy one, it already comes with Gateron milky yellow switches and clear keycaps. Looking at them side by side, the stacked acrylic is beefier and has a top plate neatly covering the sides of the knobs. Moving on to the PCB, it's powered by our Raspberry Pi 2040 Pico microcontroller. It's hot swappable, has south-facing RGB LEDs, and is wired via a USB-C port. But what I like the most about the P20 is that all its keys and knobs are extensively programmable via the QMK Vial software. Usually, QMK-compatible keyboards are expensive as you are supposedly paying for the customization. So owning a P20 for just a little above 3,000 pesos can be an affordable entry to those who want to enjoy the features of the QMK firmware. Features like tap dance, combos, macros, layers, overrides. If these sound new to you, don't worry. I will explain these and more in a future episode in this series. In a nutshell, taking advantage of QMK and Vial pushes the P20 to its full potential. And here's how it sounds like with my current Akko keycaps and switches. I'm really excited to show you how I use the P20 in my work, especially in Lightroom and in Premiere. I will also talk about more things you could do outside of Vial if you want to go deeper into the keyboard programming rabbit hole. But for now, thanks for watching.